Good evening. Uh, today we are going to see the second part of design of floor beams. Second part means we are here with uh, shear uh, reinforcement, that is stirrups. So uh, these are the reinforcement which we require, that is pan reinforcement re we require to determine tau UC. Now we can have in this way, so for AB we have 112 plus 116, for BC 212, for CD we have 112 plus 220 and DE we have 212. And then we will start with uh, first shear force at A. Uh, maximum reaction at A we will get when we have on beam total load and uh, moment at B is minimum. So if moment at B is minimum, then we are going to get that uh, reaction at A is maximum. And for this we have to use loading condition that is for maximum span moment in A, B. So you have to go that video one and from there, this load condition, you have to see the value of moment. And for that, this moment, we have to find out uh, value of uh, reaction. So we have this AST provided. Uh, we have one bar 12 plus one by 16. And from this, we will get percentage AST as 0.31. And for this 0 0.31, we have to go to table number 19. And from table number 19, so percentage PT 0 0.25.5, tau UC, we have 0 0.36.49. And therefore, for 0 0.31, we got this value as 0 0.39 Newton per mm square. So this 61.63, that is the maximum value of reaction at A. And for this, we are going to see the re reinforcement. So now we have VUC is equal to tau UC BD. Now tau UC we have 0 0.39 into 230 into 440. So that comes 39.47 kilonewton. And then we will go v, uh, VUSV minimum 0.4 BD. And this value comes 40.48 kilonewton. Now we will add these two value that is VUC plus VUSV minimum. And from this we are going to get this value that is equal to 79.75 kN, which is greater than 61.63 kN. So we have to provide minimum shear reinforcement for this maximum shear force at A. Now we will see for B and if for B also we have to go for minimum, then we need not require to determine the zones for uh, VA and VB. Now we will switch over to uh, maximum reaction at B, but left of B because the left of B, we have beam AB and right of B, we have BC. Now we will get this maximum reaction at B, gives maximum, uh, maximum shear force at B. Then when we will get maximum reaction at B, total load on AB uh, and then we have moment at B is maximum. Then loading condition maximum for maximum support moment at B, by using that loading condition, we will get MBA 64.88 kilonewton meter and for this we will get reaction for B 93.02 kilonewton. Then AST we have provided that is in AB same we have 314.2 millimeters and from this we will get value of percentage AST 0 0.31 and from this we are going to get value same tau UC we have same and uh, VUC, VUSV minimum, we have same. And from this, we will get 79.75 kN. Now we will find value of VUD. And VUD, we have VU minus WU into BS by 2 plus D. We know design shear force is at a distance D from face of the support. And face of the support, we have 230. So we have 230 by 2, that will be BS by 2 plus D, we have. 0.44 and that value comes 71.71 kilonewton, which is less than 79.75 kilonewton. So in whole region AB, we have to provide minimum shear reinforcement. Then shear force right of B, so we have to go for BC, so maximum reaction at B, and then we will have this uh, total load on B, uh, on beam BC, and then maximum moment at B and minimum at C. And then loading condition for this we have for maximum support moment at B. And for BC, we have these values. And then we will find reactions. So we have 67.38 kN for B. And then AST provided in span BC is 212. And that will give us value of percentage 
AST that is PT was 0 0.22. And then by using this table 19.15.25.29.36, we will get tau UC for 0.22 as 0.34 Newton per mm square. From which we will get VUC value 34.41 kilonewton. VUSV minimum 40.48 kilonewton. VUSV minimum will be same for all because our depth and width is same for all beams. And then we will get VUC plus VUSV minimum 74.89 kilonewton greater than 67.38 kilonewton. So if my VUC plus VUSV minimum uh, greater than reaction, I need not require to find out value of VUD that is design shear force. And then we have to provide minimum shear reinforcement. Then we will go for shear force. Laptop C means we have to consider span BC. And when we will get this, so when we have total load on beam BC and we have moment at B minimum and at C we have maximum, that is for maximum support moment at C condition. And then we have these values. And then from this, we are going to calculate value of reaction and we will have RB 87.17 kilonewton. Then AST provided again, we have same 0.22 and tau UC we have 0 0.34. From this, we will get 74.89 kilonewton. So I have to find VUD and VUD we will have 66.75 kilonewton, same way as the last problem, last uh, uh, PPT. And then we have this as less than 74.89 kilonewton. So provide minimum shear reinforcement. So in AB and in BC, we have to provide minimum shear reinforcement. We will go for two-legged 6 mm stirrups and SV we have 0.87 FY ASV upon 0.4 B. And uh, we have 6 mm. So if we will go to ground beam and uh, plinth beam, there I have considered 6 mm, but value I have considered there. So here I have considered 50 point something. Uh, calculations are correct, but there is correction in this value in ground beams and plinth beams. Then we have uh, second 307.5 and third 300. So we will provide minimum of the three and therefore six mm at 220 millimeter center to center throughout the span A, B and B, C. Now we will go shear force right of C, maximum reaction at C and that is uh, beam C, D is considered. So total load on beam C, D, maximum reaction at C and minimum at D. Loading condition for maximum support moment at C. And then we will calculate value of V VU value of VU at C 134.22 kilonewton. We have there one bar of 12 and two bar of 20. AST provided is 741.42 millimeter square. So little bit one two uh, millimeter square less, then it's okay. We need not require to go one more bar, which will give us a large increase in the AST provided. Then we have this a uh, percentage AST point 0 0.73 and we have 0 0.5, 0 0.75 and tau UC for 0 0.73 is 0.56 Newton per mm square. VUC we will get it as 56.67 kilonewton and VUSV minimum same 40.48 kilonewton. VUC plus VUSV minimum 97.15 kilonewton and that is less than uh, reaction 134.22. So we have to find design shear force. And here design shear force is also, uh, design shear force is greater than VUC plus VUSV minimum. So we have to design shear reinforcement over here because this is greater than 97.15 kilonewton. So for in beam CD for reaction C, we have to design shear reinforcement. Then we will go for D. So shear force are left of D. So we have maximum reaction at D. This is possible when we have on beam total load. Then we have a uh, uh, moment at C minimum and at D maximum. And then we have this condition. And from this, we will get this reaction VU, uh, reaction VUD 135.38 kilonewton. So reinforcement percentage same, VUC we have same. And then VUC plus VUSV minimum we have also same. So VUD again we have greater than VUC plus VUSV minimum. Therefore, we have to go for design shear reinforcement. Now we can have 112.85 kilonewton for uh, uh, D. And if we will go here, we have 111.69. So hardly we have uh, one kilonewton, one point around one six kilonewton more load for D. And then we will go only for D and will be applicable to C also. 
then we have designed chair force at C111.69 and at T112.85 kilonewton. So we will have reaction 135.38 and UDL 40.6. So we have zone, total we have beam 6.6 .6 meter. So zero shear force we will have at 3335 millimeter. So this is point of zero shear force. So we have this 3335 millimeter. And VU we have uh, 135.38 kilonewton. Then we will find VUD, which will be at V by 2 plus D, 555 millimeter. And we have this value, 112.85 kilonewton. And distance we have 2780 millimeter. Then we have uh, VUC plus VU uh, SV minimum, 97.15 kilonewton. And this region we have 2390 millimeter. In this region, we have to provide minimum shear reinforcement. That is 6 millimeter at 220 millimeter center to center. So in this remaining portion, in this remaining portion, we have to provide design shear reinforcement. And that portion we have, that is 2780 minus 2390. Now we will design shear reinforcement. We have this formula, uh, 0.87 FY ASVD upon VUS and VUS we have VUD minus VUC. And VUC we have 56.67. It is not VUC plus VU SV minimum. It is only VUC. And from this we are going to get value of SV 159.9. So very close to 160. So I can go 6 mm at 160 mm center to center as design reinforcement. So this region we have to provide 6 uh, mm and that is uh, not 220. So we have 6 mm at 160 millimeter center to center. So in this region, 160 millimeter center to center, that is uh, 2780 minus 2390. So we will get it as 390 millimeters. And in this region, we have to provide 6 mm at 160 mm center to center. Then shear force right of D, then we have maximum reaction at D, when we have maximum moment at D, and we have for maximum support moment at D. That condition we have to use. And reaction we have 105.71 kilonewton. Uh, now this is same as your beam uh, BC. So we have 0 0.22. And from this we will get VUC plus VU SV minimum 74.89 kilonewton. VUD we have calculated 84.40 kilonewton. Greater than VUC plus VU SV minimum 74.89 kilonewton. So we have to design shear reinforcement uh, for this also. Then again, in the same way, we have 2750 millimeter. That is from your uh, point D, and that is 2750. Then we have 550, if we will subtract, then we have it as 2195 millimeters. And we have VUD 84.40 kilonewtons. Then uh, we will have VUC plus VUSV minimum 74.89 kilonewton. And then in this region, 1940, we have to provide 6 mm at 120 mm center to center. And then for this remaining region, so we can say this region, we have to go for a design shear reinforcement. So we have this will be 2195 and 1940, so 195 plus 60, so that is uh, 255 millimeter only, we have to go for design shear reinforcement. And we are in the same fashion that calculated for uh, CD. And then we have that is 179.7. So we will provide 6 mm at 180 millimeter center to center in this region. So this will be uh, last shear force at E, maximum reaction at E possible when we have a minimum moment at D. And then we will get this reaction 52.39 kilonewton. Uh, we know tau UC 0.34. And VUC plus VUSV minimum 74.89 kilonewton, greater than 52.39 kilonewton. So provide minimum shear reinforcement. And that already we have seen, that is 6 mm at 220 millimeters center to center. And uh, this is all about your uh, shear. So in beam DE, provide uh, 6 mm, uh, not at uh, DE. So we have to provide that is in uh, remaining region. And that region, if we will see, then we have this will be 2750. So we have this will be 4000 minus 2750. So this will be 4 minus 2.75, 2.75. And then we will get it as 
3 and 4 that is 1.25 meter so from e from e 1.25 meter towards d we have to provide minimum shear reinforcement 1.25 meter from e to towards d from e towards d so in this region we have to provide 6 mm at 220 mm center to center so towards d this is not throughout this band So likewise, we have to provide this reinforcement. So we will stop here only today. Thank you.